the, a lot of people don't understand. Um, like, I'm not getting my job my rookie year if I don't figure out how to hold. That's why I was – Vinatieri sent me to North Carolina to Ken Walter's house to learn how to hold immediately after. You'll see, like, a punting competition will happen. And if – basically – there's like four to five punters that are better than everybody, and it's very obvious. Then there's like 16 guys that are all kind of in the same, and then there's the bums down at the bottom that are just getting cycled out. But if, you're, if you have a competition between the guys in the, in the middle, their punts are probably all going to look very relatively the same. One might be a little bit more consistent than the other, but the reason why they're not in the top five is because they can't be consistent enough. What will separate on who makes the team and who doesn't make the team is who the kicker likes more as a holder. Makes sense. It's like, I like that guy better. Let's do that. I like that guy better. Well, if he pays him in beer, then he should be good. <laughs> I did pay him in Bud Light. If I <laughs> we might have had three cases that day while we were moving in. <laughs> I mean, legit, we started at like 6 a.m. This place was it, my second house when I moved out here. It was on an old golf course, and it was just out in the middle of nowhere, and it had a pond in the back. It was just like – it had a big old barn. I mean, it was – and I, it was one of those houses I saw. I was like, uh, this thing's for sale? How much? Yep, I'll take it tomorrow. <laughs> well, you buy it. And then you got to furnish the whole thing. And McManus helped me move the whole thing in there. We were in the lake, in the pond at one time because we had to cut some things out of the pond. I mean, it was wow. maybe 90 beers were had. <laughs> Tim McVie was there. There was a couple other people. Good who, guy. You're going to be a good guy to help people move. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Seriously. For sure. I, I think I asked him, and I was not expecting him to come. I asked Vinny, too. He, he was busy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, if you got nothing going on, Moving into a new house tomorrow, or whatever. And I think McManus didn't have anything to do, or whatever. I was like, "Come on over, have a good time." I'm sure I gave him money too. It's, like, yeah, probably not actually. Now that I think about it, <laughs> gave him a roof. He well, listen, gotta... listen, you get drunk and pass out of my house. I mean, what do yeah, you want me to do? Is there that not enough? <laughs> is this not enough? Our, me and Vinny, we produced some. I don't want to say it was us that produced it, but coming out of our camp, there's a lot of guys that are currently in the NFL that have uh, been through our training camp. Cody Parkey, obviously. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Well, you don't wish he would have came through our camp or what? No, I just wish you would have told him to stay away from the poles. Well, uh, uh, it, was it was blocked. It was tip. It was a block kick. It was a blocked cool. kick. What do you want from the guy? He was a pro bowler with Philadelphia. No more double doinks. I don't want to hear that ever again. What a good call, by the way. Oh, yeah. On the spot, double doink. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That thing, it was just the perfect description. But it was a block kick. Cody Parker didn't deserve that. Not his fault. Forget Not that. his fault. Not his fault at sure all. Felt like it. No. I've seen his practice videos when he's just hitting a pole. Yeah, I, I hate that kickers do <laughs> that. I don't know do what that. he was doing. I hate that kickers do that. It makes no sense to me. Well, if you aim small, you miss small. It's like, well, I just want to see the son of a bitch go through. <laughs> yeah, what that? is the point of that? It's a... If you aim small, you miss small. It's like, um, so people put those baseball poles. And also, there's not always uprights available for people to go kick on, right? Mm -hmm. So if you go to a big-ass baseball field, which is normally open to the entire county or borough or whatever, the, there's a pole. So let's just aim at that pole. Now, I didn't ever do that because if I'm trying to do something, I would like the highest percentage of success so I can be happy with my mm -hmm. performance. Mm -hmm. So if we got to go in wider uprights, I'm almost happier at that point. I just want to see the son of a bitch go through the uprights. So just like for the balls, I want juiced balls for warm ups. I want juiced balls in practice. I'd like to see that thing fly. And that's why a lot of people would say that the kids that are practicing on poles and things like that are much more mentally tough than me. And maybe that's the case. But I like to see success, and I like to have a good yeah. time. There's guys that use brand new. Matt Stover, he wanted to kick brand new, fo brand new footballs because he was like, well, when we get to the game, it'll be easier. And he had a lot more pool than I did. I was like, I'd rather just have like a 90-year-old football. Just, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing at this point, Stover, so I'd just like to see the ball <laughs> fly. He's like, well, that's, you gotta, you got to practice. And Stover had a lot of success with that method, and people have had a lot of success with other things. I'm just a simple-minded person. I want to see the ball fly. I want to feel good. And I want to have success. So sorry to interrupt. If you're a man watching this, you deserve to have long, great. And you can do that now with our friends at Roman. Right now, you go to GetRoman.com. You get $10 off and free two-day shipping on Roman Swipes, which are guaranteed to make you have longer, more fulfilling every time you get in the sack. Now, let's get back to the fornicate in action. Success breeds success. Hey. Look at that. Wow. That wow. Yeah, I mean. Objects in motion. Stay. In motion. motion. Yeah. You get on that heater, you never walk off it. Seriously. And that's why I'm trying to get on a heater as fast as possible. So give me that terrible football that goes a quarter mile so I can hop on this heater. And then let's hope by the time the Super Bowl comes around, we're still on that heater. That's the hope.
But some people are like, no, let's make it tough. So we have to mentally grind. Yeah. Let's kick into the wind every day. So we, when we have the wind at our back or whatever, I'm like, I'm not like that. I no, want no, 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 no. Let's put that son of a bitch in my back so I can watch this thing fly. I get it. We got to work a little bit into it. I, I get that. But I would much rather watch this thing go 90 yards <laughs> than go 35 yards. Just Are we talking about inside my ears? Or are we talking about on film? What are we doing here? That's why Sammy was using a cork bat and juice balls in batting practice. You know? Oh, he also used it in game. I thought that was an accident. No, nah, yeah. nah, he did. That was white Sammy, though, wasn't it? No, uh, um, I think it was, it was the like end. mulatto Sammy. I think it was white Sammy at that time. I think he was that white. was an accident, though. What's that? That he he accidentally brought it into the game. He grabbed the wrong bat, grabbed the practice bat. Nah, nah, he was, happens. Nah, they told him he couldn't eat the steroids anymore. He had to use the bat. <laughs> had to. MLB, though, by the way, they just said, hey, we're just going to give the easiest balls ever now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. yeah. Juice Pit the balls. Pitchers hate them. Listen, you guys can't juice your bodies. You can't use juice bats. So we'll juice these balls. You guys take them all over the yard. That's percent true. I wish they would. Spin let them rate just isn't as much. I wouldn't mind if they let them just eat steroids. They should. They should. <laughs> we are the worst show. <laughs> hey, they should. They should. Why not? Everybody in the room just echoed. <laughs> yeah, well, they might hey, die young. Well, they should. Their body, their choice. The best time in baseball. They're all on roids. For the fans and for the sport. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Do it responsibly, not of course. For the pictures, but. Well, if they allowed it. You know what would happen, and doctors would get involved. Exactly. As opposed to the snake oil salesman Correct. at a diner or sleeping in Manny Ramirez's bed mm -hmm. bedtime mm -hmm. stories. Yeah, regulated. Regulated steroids. Yeah. Up. Guys wouldn't be abusing it. No. No. You know? Legal. Guys wouldn't do that in that competitive atmosphere. No, of course not. They just not. walk into the clubhouse. Here's your daily dose. Go ahead. Good luck out there today. Go do ahead. what you got to do. Hit that ball. Bring our sport back to life. Our commissioner called it a piece of metal, but you know what you're going to do? You're going to make that piece of wood look like a piece of metal whenever you're hitting these damn baseballs out of the damn county. <laughs> you don't need, there's no reason for five pitchers in rotation and five days rest. You're pitching the next day. Yep. Recovery time is shortened to zero. You're welcome. Hmm. Everyone wins. Did we just fix baseball again? Yeah, again. <laughs> Sounds like it. Listen, maybe we go out there and win that piece of metal if they need scabs. <laughs>